Welcome back to another Boatworks episode. Thanks for being here. I hope you guys enjoy. Subscribe to join us and our travels as we share our life on the sea. So today we are finishing the rails finally. It only took like a week of like straight sanding and now we're going to oil them and then they'll be 100% finished and I'll never have to sand the rails again. This has been Bella's little project. She's pretty much done this whole job herself and she did an amazing job. I'm going to show you right now how good it is, but she's stoked because she's finished. <laughs> well done, baby. After sanding back with a disc sander and hand sanding the entire rail, I coated the teak with some oil. We didn't want to varnish as it's a lot more maintenance. This oil will protect the teak and will make it easier to maintain. I think it looks nicer as it ages. I put it on with a brush and rubbed off the excess with a rag. coming for the, the glory run. I haven't done anything to do with these rails but this. Well, I do like feeling stuff. I'm a professional. I had to get the professional thing. She's a professional peeler, ladies and gentlemen. <laughs> this is how you do. That's satisfying. It was satisfying. And a hand? <laughs> Bella, the tape removing crew is on the way. No pressure. But, uh, oh yeah, she's, this is mum's way of going. Hurry up, Bella. That's how we do it. Yes! We're getting off the dock today. Yeah. <laughs> and we're going to hop back onto the boat. <laughs> <laughs> oh, I thought we were leaving. Yeah, no, we're off the dock and onto the boat. <laughs> you do it and I like to cook your dinner tonight. <laughs> I mean, I like you're going to cook your dinner. <laughs> <laughs> oh, busy, busy. Doing the final touches on the tow rail. Bella can finally stop working on the tow rail. You're gonna have a new job tomorrow, Belle. Is that exciting? <laughs> Finish one and get another one. It's seven. <laughs> I'm gonna start peeling that tape so you guys better hurry up. Next job, we're on to more windows. This is really stuck in this window. I'm just working my way around with these wedges. Oh, and she is stuck. That looks so good when we put these new windows in. Oh, ooh, ooh. Sounded like it's letting go. Sounded like it's coming off. There's a wedge coming out here. Woo! 
All right, Taj, you're to set up, mate. Get you started on this. Our friend Max found a fridge on Craigslist, brand new and was half the price. It ended up not fitting in his boat. So we bought it off him and had a perfect spot for it. Mind our mess, but you know, working and living on a sailboat is a messy situation. Right here is where the fridge is going. Previously here was a cupboard and a sink. We had no use for the sink here and feel this space will be better utilised with a fridge. After removing the sink, we had to cut a bigger hole. A few measurements, lots of double checking and a new hole was cut. I think I've got it, have I? No. You good? Yeah. Okay, we're gonna do a UE. Good job, team. And that cord. What have we got here? The muscle. Is it gonna fit, ladies and gentlemen? How's he going oh, here? Right. Dun, dun, dun. We measure properly. Tight. <laughs> Might be a little bit tight. I think it's going to go, but there's not much room there. 110, which will do for tonight. Oh, is that why it was tight? No, it one little block that won't let me go all the way back. That's not why it was tight, though. It's not going to go in. And that was pretty because it fed eight people. What? <laughs> All I can do, all I can do is put a trim down there, maybe. Oh, look, these windows are bloody taking some time, I tell ya. It's an absolute pain in the backside. It's very tedious, torturous work, but we're slowly getting there. They're old cast hatches, and I just, I just want, I, I just want to do them before we know. Like, it doesn't rain here in California, so we don't know if anything leaks, and I don't know who sealed them first or whether they've ever been resealed so i'm going to do them all we've had major issues with these ones because there was two cracks where people had over tightened them and their casts i've sent them over to our good friend paul who apparently knows a pretty good welder we're going to see what we can do there otherwise i'm going to have to just epoxy fill them but yeah should get a lot more light in here once they're done and like i say we just don't want any leaks so we've, i've probably spent too much time in the tropics and when it rains it pours and we are going south and we're going to head down to Mexico way and I'm sure we're going to see a bit of rain along the way at some stage. And we just want to make sure the boat's watertight and we're not doing any damage to any areas that we don't want water to get into. We'll be using butyl tape as usual, butyl, a sealant and blood and tears guys. We're getting there. I was happy with the hatches. These little bad boys turned out alright. I reckon it looks good. It's tough. Suits our lifestyle. We're not really uh, well polished, I suppose. <laughs> Speak for yourself, mate. <laughs> I need it. Oh, here he is, been outside working hard. So today, Mum and I are taking the last two windows in the saloon area. These are the last two. And then we have Mum and Dad's room, and there's only four in there. And then we'll be finished for all windows, hatches, windows, port lights. Everything will be finished once we get all these windows finished. So it's great, 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 great. Mum's out there. I'm in here. Little trick. Kept a few of these. Made a few of these little uh, wedges up from our fiberglass G10 board nice and strong. I usually use timber but this stuff's tough and it doesn't fall apart. So all I do is I get these, slide them in. Work my way around. I don't want to break these trim rings so they're all silicon down. I'm not too worried about all this because I haven't buffed it yet. So, it's only fiberglass on fiberglass, these are smooth. Just work my way along.
and uh, today there is a lot of dismantling going on. There's windows and stuff getting pulled apart. Um, I am going to put dinner on now so that it's ready later so I can help with the windows. So all I'm going to do is put stuff in my Instapot. Um, so what we're going to cook is beef, potatoes and leek. And I'm just going to pop it in there with some beef stock and probably cook some rice. I'm going to chop potatoes and I am going to use my Kamikoto knives because these are my favourite knives that I have and they are amazing and they have a lifetime guarantee and they're made out of Japanese steel. So if you want to order some for a friend because it's, you know, it's nearly getting close to Christmas or you want some for yourself, they come in this beautiful ash wood box and they are used by Michelin chefs all over the world. Pretty crazy, but um, I know everyone gets a little bit nervous when I grab the knives. I use them all the time, guys. Don't worry, don't panic. My dad uh, watched the video the other day and he goes, Can you just be careful when you're chopping? It's alright, Dad. I got this. Hungry teenagers on board, so it's hard to keep them fed. So, this is a really good meal, easy boat meal to have in the pot all ready to go. We're gonna put some leeks in there i'm gonna move my fingers just right away how about that guys if you'd like your own IV, you can use our discount code catalpa 50 and you can get 50 dollars off these knives kamikata is now running a black friday sale and the link is on the screen check that out all right just big chunks guys chuck it in super easy meal for family okay so i just put a little bit of beef stock let's go guys let's get back to the windows beefing and it was my instant pot. I got some beef in there today. I want to go to sleep and just wake up when it's finished. <laughs> uh, same. There's a lot of dirt behind this. Tiger. Window number two for the day. Yeah, there's all the windows in here. And you'd think that's all of them, but no. No, 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 no. We got this one. And then we've got one here. And one here. One here. And one in here. And then that'll be all of the windows complete. That will be an incredible day. Kids are outside doing jobs. Lee's in the engine bay trying to get our water, uh, the water maker that's on the boat is trying to see if it actually works. I was in the lazarette the other day up top. <laughs> Having a disco. <laughs> and I found a march pump. Um, so I connected it up and I ran it to the aircon units. The march pump works fine and the aircon units are working apart from one so I, don't, I haven't even investigated that yet but the aft cabin the kids cabin just not the central cabins working so but that's not my main part of what i wanted to do so why i connected the march pump up it was just a bonus i just wanted to see if the aircon was all working which it is but the march pumps are about 500 dollars. we have a water maker that doesn't have a boost pump which is a very similar pump it's a march pump also a centrifugal pump so what i've done i just want to see before we go any further because the water maker is not hooked up there's no boost pump to it so i'm going to use the air conditioning pump i've run a line into our water maker just for now i do want to replace the water maker because it's so important on the boat for us and it's a really old one but for now just to get us off the dock i want to see if it's working so i've run a line from our air conditioning pump i've checked our filters our filters are actually spotless uh just above where the air gets are a little bit dirty but shows me that the unit was pickled before it sat for however long it sat for assuming that the system is pickled and working we're going to start this up and see if it works if it works 
I will try and find a pump for the uh, water maker and we'll have a water maker for now. Again, I don't want to head into the Pacific and be two weeks in and an old water pump, an old water maker uh, fails. So it's definitely on the list, but for now it's just, we just want to get it going so we can get off the dock and we know we'll be able to make water. This is a very complicated system. There's other systems out there that are really simple. You've seen in the past I've used Rain Man, which I'm a fan of. Um, and there is other similar systems out there that are simple. And when I mean simple, they don't have all these wires for sensors and salinity sensors and whatever electric ele electronics and componentry that can fail, fail. So really, a water maker is just a high pressure pump that pushes water through a membrane and gives out a product line which gives you fresh water and you can complicate it as much as you like. This one's very complex. It's actually, it's got sensors all over it. It's got salinity sensors. It's got UV this sensors. It's, it's got a control box up the front of the room under Bella's uh, bed. It's got membranes over here, control panels over there, bits here. It's just all over the shop where I want a real simple contained unit that's right here. Um, and wherever I choose to mount the control panel. Let's see when I get this thing fired up, if it fires up or not. I might not even turn on. I don't even know yet. I'm just connecting water and just trying to get my head around it first. And that is a broken line here. Should just be a turn line. Oh, not that one. I don't actually have a straight joiner, so I'm going to have to put an angle one on. I pretty much got my head around the whole system. So this is the return line. And it's a T, so I don't know if there was a gauge or... I have no idea what's on there. I'm just going to block that off for now. So much stuff is disconnected on this boat. I don't know what where what is. Right. And we just take a moment just to appreciate your knowledge and your patience. There's so much stuff in here and he was explaining to me this morning everything that... He's worked out on his own. He's very switched on. I can't believe all the things in here that he's got working that most people would not have a clue because there was no, no one gave us, you know, what was working, what wasn't. We just got handed this boat and Lee's been in here and just nutting his way through it. It's been hours and hours and hours and you are pretty amazing, Tom. No handover and no survey, guys. <laughs> Equals a lot of work. Yeah. You're doing a wonderful job, and I just wanted to tell you that. But we knew that. I don't know why we sign up for this stuff, darling. Why is it? Why do we put ourselves in these predicaments? Don't know, but we do it a lot. I need some a tape, darling. I gotta put this down because he needs his assistant. All right. So the pump pumps water. It's pumping. I don't know much about these units, but as soon as I turn this on, it's got a salinity controller. Uh, half the things glow, half don't. About as soon as I wind pressure up onto it, it just cuts off. Um, this gauge isn't working. Uh, my pressure gauge, so I don't know how far to wind it up. Um, the low pressure one isn't working. These are working. Or well, one is, one's stuck up, one's not. But I don't like the system to start with, so. I don't really want to invest any money into this system. I start going and buying new pressure gauges, uh, new boost pumps. I don't know what the membranes are like. I, I couldn't test the salinity of the water then, nor could I wind it up to proper pressure. I just put a little bit on there until it come out the product line. So it is actually working. So at this stage I'd say pressure gauge isn't working. This shorts out for whatever reason, I'm not sure and we don't have a boost pump. So, you know, $500 boost pump, don't know what they charge for a gauge, could be 500. Who knows what the problem is with that. You know, you start to get to thousands and then you don't even know if the system's gonna work properly or be reliable, because it's old. So I think it's gonna be a can. Uh, I think it's a bin job. It's, it's, it's possible to get working, someone that wants to get it working, but if you're a family on the boat, and you're going into the Pacific and you want a reliable unit, it's just not the one for us. I got what I must say for its time, I don't know the age of it, but you know, it, it's got the built in salinity tester, it's got push buttons, it's got 
plenty of gauge and pressure readers. It's got a UV light behind here. It's got sensors all over the shop. Uh, it would have been a pretty snazzy unit, but old and it's complex. Two things we don't want. Thought I'd have a quick look at our water tank. So the other day I started the water maker up. Water maker failed. Water passed through the uh, membranes. So the product water had salt water going into our tank. And then I noticed the bilge was going off. So the tank was leaking. I was like, oh no. They're nice fiberglass um, water tanks. So I was like, hmm, wonder where that's coming from. So I had a look down. It's quite a small hole to work in. I can just reach it, but I put my hand down and I could feel water around the hose. So I was like, sweet, it's just a fitting leak and maybe it's a loose pipe clamp. So I tightened up the pipe clamp and then I was like, ah, oh, it's still dripping. So I undone the pipe clamp. And so what we have is it's a three quarter barbed tail here and hits whoever, someone in the past has slid one inch over that and put a pipe clamp around the thread. So obviously the water's just running around the thread and uh, running out. But, pain in the bum, but it's a good find. So I found this, so I actually wanted to replace whatever water lines we're drinking out of. Um, so I'll replace that with three quarter, which will fit onto here. And I don't know what he sealed it with. It's some sort of almost, almost like a butyl tape, maybe. I don't know. But uh, it wasn't sealed really well. Um, it just fell out. It was loose, dripping, and in a tight little spot. I'll show you. But I'll show you the tight little spot. You got your torch. That's where. And Lee, <laughs> Lee put his arm down there. That's not very thick. And he thought, <laughs> he thought he had his arm stuck, didn't you? Oh, I had a freak out for a little bit there. I was trying to pull my arm out and it was stuck. I was like, oh no, but when I put it in, I actually went down and then turned my arm 180 degrees. And then I forgot that I did that. And when I went to pull my arm out, I was like, <laughs> oh no, I'm stuck. I don't like that feeling. But anyway, um, at least I found the leak. And I don't know what our other tank's like or where to access that, but I'm sure to find it at some stage. Can we see in our tanks? Oh. It's nice, we can access the tanks. Catalpas, we could never... We no, could we never. could never access it. We could never access it, clean it, see it. We didn't know what was in there. Yeah. But the tanks look pretty clean inside. We'll reseal this and get this on, because I will use that. It's three quarter. And I didn't like it anyway because the reason I sort of tracked a bit of this yeah. down was there's like three joins in this pipe that run over and that's just another area for water to leak. So it's just one of those things about going through all the systems. I'm just about to install. All right, so I'm just about to uh, get ready to install. I've got a nice big uh, water accumulator. I think it must be like oh, three gallon, 10 liters or something like that. Brand new water pump and I'm gonna run new lines. The tanks are clean. Just awaiting for some stage to, if we get a water maker, we'll be able to fill them up. Until then, I've got plenty to do. It's all these little jobs that I just didn't think I'd be doing and they just take so much time working in tight little areas, like such a simple little task like this. By the time you drain out the little bit of the water that's in the bottom of the tank, clean it, prep it, seal it up, run new lines under the floor you end up losing like hours and days. there's just days there's just job <laughs> after job like this but in the end uh yeah they're all the little things that we want right and it'll be good it'll be all worth it thanks for watching that video guys i hope you enjoyed if you did don't forget to put a thumbs up subscribe if you haven't already we really appreciate it and we'll see you next time bye